hi guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed please take a moment to do so I'd also appreciate if you share this video today we'll be making Jamaican beef patties for a breakdown of the ingredients we have here a pound and a half of uh, ground beef nicely ground beef the lean one okay so we also have here a uh, half a cup of breadcrumbs some Maggie all-purpose seasoning four stalk of spring onion one scotch bonnet pepper one medium onion we have some paprika three cloves of garlic a half a teaspoon of brown sugar one teaspoon of nutmeg over here we have some salt half a teaspoon of onion powder half a teaspoon of black pepper we have two teaspoon of organic thyme leaves we have a half a cup of breadcrumbs over here, half a cup of breadcrumbs and one cup of water. Okay, we're gonna be using that later along in the um, preparation process. Okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start by dumping all our powder seasoning into our ground beef. So there I put the onion powder, black pepper and salt. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the nutmeg in as well and the sugar okay i'm gonna go ahead and add our paprika and a dash of all-purpose seasoning again you can add all your favorite spices uh, you don't have to be specific as to what i'm using today you can do it to your taste okay once we got those in I'm just gonna go ahead and knead it in like so. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. Our next step is to go ahead and chop up all these um, veggies right here. So I'm just going to remove the stem from my pepper and toss it in there. Chop up my spring onion or scallion as we normally call it. And I'm going to toss that in there as well. And my garlic. Okay, we'll be doing the uh, onion separate because it's a larger um, veggie, so it will take up a, quite a bit of space in here. Okay. Chop her up. I can smell the pepper. Guys. Should be enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and toss that in. Okay, so now that we add that ground up scallion and pepper to our ground beef, we're gonna go ahead and grind up our onion as well. So toss her in there. Okay, that should be perfect guys so we're gonna go ahead and 
toss this into our ground beef as well. Okay, and combine. Okay, once all that is done, we're going to go ahead and put a lid on and let it sit there and marinate for a while. And we're going to move on to working on our pastry. Okay, for our pastry, we're going to be needing a pound of flour. That's about three and three quarter cups of flour. Uh, we're going to be needing a half a cup of butter. What I have here is a teaspoon of curry powder and a pinch of turmeric half a cup of vegetable shortening, one teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking powder. I also have a half a cup of cold ice water. Okay. We're gonna start by sifting our flour. This container here. Now that we have our flour sifted, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in our turmeric and curry powder. I'm also gonna be adding in our salt and baking powder. Okay, I'm gonna be adding in my butter here. And my veggie shortening. Let's just give, mix this together here. Guys, it would be lovely if you could go ahead and mix the powdered seasoning before you add the butter. I think I just went one step too far just now, but not to worry. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and add our shortening. And we're gonna go ahead and use our hands to mix that until it becomes like breadcrumb until the mixture look like breadcrumbs okay so just go ahead and mix it around like so take your time until it looks like breadcrumb guys okay now that our mixture is nice and crummy like so you can see that guys it's nice and crummy we're gonna go ahead and add our water in and knead it into a nice dough if it's slightly sticky, that is okay. Okay, so just gonna add water and knead as we go along. Here we go. Now that our dough is nice and sticky, we have a nice dough here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap it in some cling wrap. And I'm going 
going to be putting it into the refrigerator for approximately one hour, guys. Okay, if it stay a little longer, no harm will be done. So I'm just going to let this refrigerate while I go ahead and prepare the um, patty filling. Okay, guys, our next step is to get a hot pot or a hot skillet. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil and start cooking our ground beef to make it. Okay, so we want to dump those in. We're going to make sure that our flames are on medium. We don't want it too high or too low. Okay? And we're going to just stir that around until it's nice and crumbly and brown. Okay? Okay guys, we're just going to put a lid on and let that cook for a while, making sure that we're stirring it periodically, just to make sure that the consistency in the cooking is throughout. Okay, as the beef is starting to cook, it's going to be looking a little bit crumbly like so. That's totally fine. We're just going to let it continue to cook until it's uh, dry and slightly brown. At this point, we can go ahead and add in our thyme. Okay, let's kind of mix that in so that the flavor can infuse into the beef mixture. Okay, so we're just going to put our lid back on and let that continue to cook until it's um, nice and dry and crumbly. For those of you that would like a richer, more brown color on your ground beef, you can go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of browning. Hey guys, now you can see that our ground beef is starting to dry out. It's a lot more crumbly. It's not as clumpy as before. So what we're going to do, we're going to mix our breadcrumbs over here with some water. Yeah. Again, this step is optional. You don't have to do this. It's good to go as is. But I'm just going to mix my breadcrumb with some water here. And then I'm going to add it to the mixture. And allow it to cook a little bit more until the, it's nice and saucy. Okay. So we're just going to mix that in. And give it some more time to, to cook. Okay. Okay guys, now that our mixture is nice and saucy, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that from the flames and allow it to cool completely. And while that's being cooled, we're going to go ahead and prepare our patty crust. Okay? Okay, our next step is to remove our dough from the cling wrap here. Okay, it's nice and sticky still. So we're just going to go ahead and divide that into eight equal portions. So I'm just going to make smaller doughs. Sorry, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so 10 equal portions, guys. Again, this will determine what um, size you want to make your patties. If you want to make them smaller, you can go up to a dozen. If you want to make them larger, you can go up to eight or six. It's totally up to you guys. Okay. Okay, our next step is to sprinkle some flour on our rolling board. And we're just going to get one of our balls of dough like so. And with the help of a rolling pin, we're going to roll that out, guys. Until it's about the eighth of an inch in thickness. We don't want it too thick. We don't want it too thin. Okay.
Okay, once you have it all nice and flat like so, you're just gonna go ahead and use a shape cutter to cut it into a nice perfectly round circle. I don't have a shape cutter, so I'll be using the slit here. You just wanna get it in there and press it down, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the edges. Okay, and that will determine the size of your um, your patty. Okay. Perfect. Okay, next we're going to get a spoon of our filling and we're just going to put it on one side of our patty dough. Making sure not to put too much, guys, because if you put too much, it might cause some problem in the baking process. Okay, once we have that done, I'm just going to wet my finger and touch the edges like so. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fold the empty side over. You know, that will help the wetness, help it to seal. And so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a fork and just slightly press the edges like so okay once that is done i'm going to put it on a lined baking sheet guys and i'm going to follow through with the remaining nine patties same process okay so that's what it's looking like at the moment okay so by the time you get to around about your sixth patty you will have a good handle and things you just want to make sure that you flour your rolling board press her out a little bit and then we're going to roll away Remember guys, about an eighth of an inch is thick. You don't want it too thick. And in the meantime, while you're getting your um, patties prepared, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, part of the skill that you'll develop as you go along is the cutting process. You will know exactly how much pressure to put on. You're just gonna put a nice firm pressure, move it around like so and take away the excess, okay? Again, guys, I was able to get a dozen patties out of this mixture as um, each time I cut away the trimmings like this, I was able to reintegrate them into a new ball. So I had two extra balls, okay? Again, we're gonna go ahead and add our filling to one side. Tap her finger with some water and tap it on the edges like so. And go ahead and fold over the empty side. Okay. okay we're gonna then take a fork and press the edges seal. gets easier the more you do it the easier it gets the first one was a little bit challenging but as i go along it becomes easier and easier okay so over here we have our one look at that guys or 12 patty these are raw so i'm just going to go ahead and pop it in the oven and let it bake for approximately 30 to 35 minutes Okay, hey guys, we're approaching our 30 minutes mark. I'm just going to go ahead and check in on our patties. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. They're starting to look nice and golden. So you can see them there. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in there for another two minutes or so. And then I'm just going to turn the heat off. Okay. Okay, now that our patties are nice and done, we're just going to go ahead and bring them over, guys. This is what they're looking like at the moment. You can see they're nice and golden, starting to brown slightly. Okay, once you take your patties out of the oven, you're going to want to have a cooling station, a cooling rack, or in my case, a makeshift cooling station here. And so you're going to take them off and put them on there to cool. So the reason why you need to put them in a cooling rack is so that it can cool on the bottom as well as the top. Because if you leave it sitting on the baking sheet to cool the moisture underneath the bottom here, might make it go saggy. Okay, so we're just gonna get these over here to cool. You can cool them and freeze them. Or if you're going to eat them, you can just go right ahead and eat them. Our next step is to try and cut into one of these patties so we can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, and there you go, guys. Look at that. This is how you make Jamaican beef patties at home. Okay.